Hello guys welcome to Excel series as we were learning about all the option in Excel today we will learn about group by option in Power Query so first we need to take this data into the Power Query so click anywhere in the data and go to data tab and here go to from table range now the Power Query will open up so here we have group by option in my previous video I have told you about how to look your all the regions to get total sales now we will use group by to see the average sales by a salesperson so to do this click on the group by and then select the salesperson and the new column you can name this as average sales I have made this as average sales and the operation I want to perform is average and I want this on to the sales and then select OK. Now we have average sales by each salesperson. So we have total 4 salesperson and these are the average sales. Now try another of grouping number of products sold by region. So I want to see by now number of products by region. So what I can do is I can go to group by again and here I will select region and then name this as column and operation count rows and column can be any so it's not let me select any column because it can be any column and then select ok now we have all the number of products sold by each region but now i want total sales by region and by product so what i will do is i will go to group by again and then go to advanced one here you will get two options so we will select region and we will select product then new column sales we will name as sales total sales and then operation i want to perform is sum on the sales column and then select ok now you can see we have different products that's with the different region and we can then sort them make them more readable so we will sort them from here now we have all the products sold in east and then all the products sold in north and then in the south and then in the west so hopefully you have learned how to use the group by option and it is very useful when you are analyzing data so you don't have to use complex formulas or mess around with the pivot table you can just do this in few seconds by clicking some options in the power query so hopefully you liked this video if you liked this video press the like button and follow for more videos like this.